Well, here I am, laying in the mud, blacking out, unable to get to my air. Clearly not one of my better dives. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Maybe we better start at the beginning. CIA Special Ops here, my code name Pink. What we have is a situation at a top secret sub base that was built in World War II under an old fish plant in Port Orford, Oregon. This base is housing the most advanced nuclear sub on the face of the earth. Top nuclear physicists had said that a nuclear reactor this small could never be built. But genius nuclear physicist Dr. Zuth did it. My name is Chris Kaufman, a former frogman for the National Council for Co-Aquatics in America. I was commissioned by the Navy to investigate and protect a lost experimental submarine, a new small nuclear design. Little did I know I wasn't the only person looking for it. However, we were given two entirely different jobs to do once we found the submarine. This is a two-man sub. It makes its own air and fresh water from seawater. It can stay submerged forever, or as long as the crew can remain sane, that is. We've learned our secrets out, and someone's going to destroy our sub. Not on my watch. Suddenly I realized I was being followed. By the way he was waving his sheetrock knives, I knew he must have been CIA. He grabbed a hold of me and ripped out my mouthpiece. The guy knew nothing about diving. He apparently didn't know I could just stick it back in my mouth again. I gave him a swift kick to the face and got myself out of there. Wow, that kick broke my mask. I'm going to have to surface and remask. With a small digital Geiger counter purchased from Get In Debt Scuba, we were able to fight in the submarine quickly. My dive partner is somebody I hadn't worked with before, but he seemed to be working okay at the moment. At least he had good gear to dive with. The submarine had to get in and out of the submarine base through a small hidden passageway going through the rocks. It was disguised as an old piece of garbage thrown in the bottom of the lake. It didn't take us long to fight in the submarine with that Geiger counter. It was the submarine we were looking for. It hadn't been here long. It still had fumes coming out of the reactor through the tailpipe. We'd have to cut our way into the submarine through the bottom. My cutting torch was a new model that ran off the nitrox in my BC.
The searing white hot flame made short work of the submarine's outer hull. I didn't get much work out of my dive partner today. All he wanted to do was suck up the gas out in my torch. I should have called Atlas Edge Staffing where they do free drug screening on all their employees. Now that we were in the submarine, it was time to arm the charges to blow the submarine up. My job was to make sure that the submarine didn't fall into enemy hands at any rate possible. The charges were pure liquid nitro. Now that the detonator was armed, I had to be extremely cautious. One sudden move and we could all be blown up. It slipped. It was falling to the bottom of the water. I had to catch it before it hit. Lucky this time. Maybe I should have placed the charges, then armed the detonator. The first charge would go on the engine compartment above the reactor. The second charge would go in the starboard side torpedo tube. We had a problem on the way out. My dive partner somehow managed to get himself trapped inside the submarine. With no way out, I had to try and cut the port window out to see if he could fit through. The detonator was armed. Time was ticking. sucked up so much nitrox out of my cutting torch, I couldn't get the bolts to even hot enough to cut off. I was out of gas and out of time. I guess he'd just have to stay there. A new mask? back in the water. I can't show this guy any mercy this time. I'm gonna have to get that detonator and disarm it.
Suddenly I was attacked again. It was the same guy from before. Doesn't he realize we're both on the same side? He ripped out my air hose. I tried to grab it, but these new silicone hoses from VDH are just too hard to grab underwater. Well, here's where you came in. I was going to have chicken tonight, too. Looks like he tried to make it so it can't be disarmed. I'll have to fix it to be able to disarm it. I think I got it. Now for the code. Oh no, did it die before or after that last number I punched in? See if I can get it going and try again. No luck. Just going to have to hope for the best, I guess. Thank you.